Hi, this is an introduction to a new file manager that's available for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And it's uh, the website is files.community. And it is a power meets beauty. It is an, a very elegantly designed tabbed file manager. Yes, tabbed file manager. So if for those of you who are on Windows 10, and don't have and would like to have a tabbed file manager, this is, I think, the best tabbed file manager you can add to Windows 10. It's also very useful to add to Windows 11, and I'll show you why. Uh, when the Windows 11 file manager, at least in its current state, does not restore tabs that you have open. This does. And so what I'm going to do is show you, if you go to download, they give you two choices. They would like you to donate by downloading files from the Microsoft Store. And this will open the Microsoft Store. I, I don't want to do that. The other option you have is to don't have access to the Microsoft Store. Click on Classic Installer and it will download to your computer the installer file without having to pay uh, $9 for the file manager from the Microsoft Store. If you'd like to donate money after you use it, you're more than welcome to go into the Google Play, uh, the Microsoft Store, and purchase it. Um, when you have file manager, when you have it open at the very beginning, it comes up to a home area very similar to Windows 11. And these are all of the same things that I have pinned to quick access in my regular Windows File Explorer. Additionally, I have a list of my hard drives, network locations, and as in the Windows 11 File Explorer, your recent files. Okay. On the left hand side, you have your pinned items. And you can, you have your libraries, your drives, your cloud drives. I have a pCloud drive, OneDrive. This here is a little bit of a bug. It says Google Drive documents, and it's not. It's not Google Drive documents. It's actually OneDrive documents. And I need to report this to them and let them know that somehow I managed to get an entry in here that is inconsistent with their design. Uh, I don't know how I got this here, but it's um, it's wrong, <laughs> to be quite honest. Um, and another new thing that they have in this file manager is called is tags. And they give you uh, important photos, work, and home as default tags. And the way that you add a new tag is you go into settings and tags and then you can add a new tag and you can change the color to whatever you want it to be i'll make it hot pink and i'll call it tfs tech for senior and i'll say create now if i want to designate any file that i have Let's say I go into my home folder and I want to designate, uh, I've already designated, you can see, uh, a file with the tag work. Here is uh, another one I'll put in and I'll right click it and I'll say that I want to add a, add a tag. I'll put it in Tech for Senior. And then if I scroll down to Tech for Senior, There is my speed test on PS1 in my with my text with senior tag. So very clean interface on the left hand side. But what's really nice is I can decide that I want this tab to be my downloads folder. And I want this tab to be my home folder. And I want this tab to be my 
uh, Stug website design folder. And I would like my next one to be my pCloud drive. And I would like my next one to be my Google Drive. And I can set it to my Google Drive. And then lastly, I'll add my Microsoft OneDrive. Now, if I close this program out, it doesn't get rid of all of those tabs. If I go back in and I open the file manager again, it comes right back the way it was before and opens up all of my familiar tabs. It's almost like restoring a web browser to the previous tabs that you had open. You can't do this with the Windows 11 or 10 file manager. Uh, this is something that you can only do, I believe, in this file manager. It has a very nice, clean interface. It supports tabs. It's good for both versions of Windows. Very clean interface on the left-hand side. And this has been my introduction to Community Files File Manager for Windows.